Welcome to At The Game, fueled by G-Series. I'm Casey Littlejohn here in the Tacoma Dome for a two-way semifinal matchup between the Tumwater Thunderbirds and the East Valley Knights. This game originally scheduled east of the mountains. Adverse weather conditions moves it over here to the T-Dome. And here we are on a Monday afternoon with the Thunderbirds and the Knights looking for a spot in the two-way championship. Let's check out the highlights. First quarter action, Tumwater's Kyle Warner going to intercept this East Valley pass, find some daylight, and he's going to take it all the way to the house. High scoring game early, Tumwater jumps up 21-7. East Valley not backing down though, and they turn to a little bit of trickeration as the halfback pass from Alex Rockstrom finds Ronnie Jarvis down the sideline. He scores, getting the Knights back within a touchdown. Tumwater's Peyton Olsen going to do some hard nose running here, picking up a nice chunk of yards for the T-Birds. Then quarterback Daniel Hinkle going to roll out and find Ronnie Hasty in the flat for a nice pickup inside the 15. And that sets up Christian Bush, who spins in for the touchdown, extending the Tumwater advantage. Quarterback Taylor Watkins for East Valley going to try to make something happen. Ball's knocked loose though, hopped on by Michael Glasgow. Dangerous to give Tumwater the ball and check out Evergreen Conference offensive MVP Kyle Warner going up and getting it. Odd series of events here late in the second quarter. Tumwater's Ronnie Hasty going to find the end zone. But he's going to get flagged for unsportsmanlike conduct for his divine celebration, setting off a little controversy. Crowd did not like it. Still first half, Knight's turn, and Watkins finds Adam Talley, who catches the swing pass and picks up a big game for the Knights. Talley is then rewarded as he punches it across for the touchdown. East Valley chipping away, but too much tum water. Here's Kyle Warner doing it with his feet. 42-21 Thunderbirds. Still first half, and Watkins finds Joey Strelu out of the backfield, and he rambles across midfield. So Knight's on the move, Tally gets the call, and he does some nice run in here with a couple spin moves, getting the Knights closer down to the goal. A little bit of extracurriculars after the play. Knights have to settle for the field goal attempt. It gets blocked. Grant Brandt picks it up out of midair. And he doesn't take it all the way to the house, but gets a nice little return. Waning moments of the first half. Tumwater with a chance for more points. And Daniel Heekel going to throw once again. There's the guy, Kyle Warner, catches anything in his area code. A beauty here, Hinkle to Warner again, who lays out just short of the goal line. So this time Warner lines up the quarterback, he can do it all. Pushes it in for six, 49-21, T-Birds at halftime. Second half, number 89, Zach Wimberly gets a chance for some glory for Tumwater. Putting the Thunderbirds over the half century mark. Later on, third quarter, it's Ronnie Hasty getting the pitch. Scoring another touchdown for Tumwater. Just too much in this game, the Tumwater Thunderbirds. 63-21 at the start of the fourth. They go on to win it 63-27 to make the 2A championship against Archbishop Murphy. Kyle Warner of Tumwater told me a ritual the Thunderbirds like to do after every game. I'm Kyle Warner from Tumwater High School. After the game, we, uh, we sing a certain song that only T-Birds know and um, only after wins. And then we sing our fight song before we do that and get in the locker room and just have a good time, just reminisce on the game. Check out more before, during, and after game rituals from Tumwater players and athletes across the country at maxpreps.com slash signatures. I'm here with Kyle Warner of the Tumwater Thunderbirds. Kyle, you guys are going to the championship game. A lot of points put up out there today. Uh, yeah, we just 
before this, we watched film every day during practice, uh, after practice, before practice, and uh, we just saw what they were doing on defense and tried to exploit that. And then we ended up doing a pretty good job. And then defensively, uh, we had a couple good stops, and then we got a return for a touchdown. That was pretty nice. So our defense helped out a lot too. And uh, it seemed like you were catching about everything that came your way. Did you kind of feel like you were in the zone today? Uh, yeah, I mean, Daniel, he's, I mean, just like his brother, Rocky, he puts it right where it needs to be, where only I can catch it. And that's what I love about the kid. And he just like, I don't know, he makes it like, he makes my job really easy. You could say that, I guess. All right, and looking ahead now next weekend to the championship game against Archbishop Murphy. I'm not sure how much you know about them. It's, it's really probably the matchup a lot of people really want to see between these two great programs here in Washington State. Uh, yeah, we've obviously heard a lot about them. We watched a lot of film on them. Um, and I heard they run the wing tee or something. So we run the wing tee. So it's just going to be a, a good hard-nosed football game, and we're just excited to play. Well, hey, congratulations on the win today. And coming up in the championship game, that's Kyle Warner with Tumwater. They get the win tonight over East Valley of Spokane, and we'll play for the 2A championship.